1982, and essentially this was all that was left after that fire. So a lot of the stonework is left. A lot of the um, the you know the plants are left. You can see usually the National Park Service. If we have what we call non-native plants, you know, we're trying to preserve the integrity of California native plants, we would take them down. But here they're considered historically significant because they're part of the cultural landscape. So the National Park Service protects not just, you know, the plants and the animals and the land, but also cultural artifacts, and this is one of them. And so if you go to other national parks, they might have an apple orchard like in Yosemite or even a whole little farm uh, community and that the plants aren't part of the native plants, but they'll keep them because they're part of the cultural landscape. So I have some photos I want to show you um, before I do that though, and Coral's going to pass around some you can get a closer look. So imagine uh, the Roberts family came to Paul Williams, who was known to design these beautiful homes all around LA. And they said, we want you to, you know, design our ranch house here at Solstice Canyon. And uh, we, we wanted to kind of be, you know, in with the environment. And um, we also wanted to have a, a significant fire system, you know, so it can survive <laughs> fires, right? And so he designed it with all that in mind. And this is what, this is what it was. It was called Tropical Terrace. And as you can see, they planted tropical plants. The creek and the waterfall is just behind us. And in fact, that cliff right there, water would come cascading down that cliff. And um, the, the, the living room had a view of the water coming down. So these pictures, I know they're not that great, but this is from an architectural, and Coral's gonna come around with some better pictures close by. Yeah, feel free to come in. That's one of my favorite bird songs. In the, mountain. the Canyon Run saying hello. This, was, this house was featured in Architectural Digest in the early 60s, I believe. And that's where these images came from. So you can see where we're standing. I think this was the pool, but he also had, um, or maybe that was the pool. And all, he had a lot of water coming through the house. And if, if you look at the house, even in these pictures and the structure here, oh, wow. notice how it was tucked into the mountains, right? Mm -hmm. And some of these other Malibu homes that we've seen, no offense to anybody, but they really stick out, don't they? Yeah. And they kind of <laughs> scream at you as you drive by. Yeah. This house here, uh, was was put into the into the cut of the canyon here and it was I mean talk about a nice ranch house you know just had all these had these places patios and places to sit and there was water all around and it was just really really pretty in fact um, I have a quote from the the granddaughter of the family uh, here and I'll pull it out in a second but I'll just, I'll show you a few more images and the, you could see these steps that are in the the feature are still you guys are sitting on them now yeah. and we'll go and explore the where the <laughs> kitchen was and the living room um yeah this is the pool yes yeah. Yeah. so this was the pool wow. let's see if i have that okay so here's the picture of the kind of uh kitchen nook and with the oh water coming God. down and out wow. from the window wow. yeah, so as you sat there eating your breakfast you know in the wet months, you'd have a little waterfall behind you. Hmm. And so he had, uh, Williams had designed water features and pipes all through it, mainly for fire protection, but also to, to give them uh, sounds of the water and, and views. And then here's a big uh, image of the living room. Just really, just a really nice ranch house, you know? So which fireplace is that? that that's gonna be up this there, the yeah. Or yeah. There, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, that one there is a well, yeah, we'll try to figure out which one is, right? There's more than one, isn't uh, there? Yeah. And at the time, do you know how much that cost? I don't, I can't find, I've never seen a cost yeah. estimate, you know? Um, so that's but I'd imagine, you know, it was in the half a million dollar range, I'm guessing. It was built in 1950, so maybe less, right? That, like, I'm, I'm thinking today's dollars, even then. Trying to get up here? Yeah transporting the materials up. So I have, um, let me just, I have this quote from the granddaughter, I want to get it right, but essentially it's the same what we talked about. So Williams, at this point in his career, and eventually he had a five decade career and designed many homes to the stars. Desi Arnaz had a home designed by Williams. He was involved in the LAX planning team. So there's a picture of him, I guess, with the thing behind, you know, that what they call that at LAX, but he didn't design that, but he was on the planning team for the whole airport. Um, and 
And so his home, I think, is in um, the Sky Cap, yeah. Uh, his home, which is still around today, and I think another star owns it, is in. Um, oh, a grasshopper. Okay. Uh, no! Uh, you, you were saying? Yeah, yeah so. Um, 